Hi everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this card and I'm calling this a book cradle card because you have this base piece which looks like a book cradle and then I've added this bit on here but you don't have to add this. I'm going to show you how you can add a kind of extender in here and then you can create other styles. I've got this five by seven one here which I've made as an Easter version and I'll be sharing that in a separate video so you can see the five by seven size. And I think in that version for the next one I do, I'm not gonna add the top part. I'm just gonna focus on this inside piece. So there's maybe what, three, four ways that you can you know, have this card. But I thought I'd start off with the simplest and in the six by six. So everything folds down flat, just like so. And then when you take it out, it's kind of in the, shape it needs to be that's your little stopper so it doesn't expand and you can see there it just stands nicely you've got space on the back to be able to write your message and it's just a really nice one when you do just all cardstock it shows off your pattern papers really nice if you've got these kind of kits where they have the toppers and stuff i think this is a good style so let's get started so the paper pad i've used again is this one which is the spring garden birds and i used this recently on the endless ways multi bend cards if you haven't seen those i'll link it up here so that's a really nice fun easy card style as well but it's lovely because you get the toppers here as well so i've already gone through picked out what i want to use so we'll go through the pattern paper and the decorations in a moment so you'll need first of all two pieces well actually i'll do those ones in a bit because that's optional so this piece here is the stopper at the bottom. So this is two and a half by six. Along the two and a half side, you want to score at half an inch, one and a quarter and two. And then you want these three pieces, which are all the same size. And this all makes the cradle. So these are three by six. Along the three inch side, you're going to score at one and a half on all three pieces. OK. So we'll put this all together first. And then if you want to add this middle bar, so I've done it on the five by seven, see this piece here, you'll want a piece of six by six and score along one side at one and a half, three and four and a half. I'm not gonna add it to this card, but I'm gonna show you where you would add it if you want to. Whilst I've got the scoreboard, actually, I'll just give you these measurements, but these are the optional top pieces here. So whether these are acetate, you might have one in acetate, one in cardstock, there's, there's just, again, so many ways to, to kind of, you know, put this one together. So these are two pieces of four by six. And along the four inch side, you're going to score at half and three and a half and do that on both pieces. So that's all of the scoring. So first of all, we'll start off with the cradle. So that's the stopper. And then these three pieces, which were three by six, that are all the same. So you want to fold and burnish. So you have three pieces like this and then the stopper you want to start with a mountain fold then a valley and then a mountain so you've got this m shape we're actually going to pop it in so it's a w so you want it that way up that's going to be the bottom i'm going to show you this piece now in case you want to add this because you need to put this in between these ones so this is that six by six piece and this is going to be that middle extender if you want it for this one here, you want to fold so you've got a valley, mountain, valley. You're then going to add glue inside one of the, the middle ones. It doesn't matter which side. And then you're going to stick them together. So this would now become the piece that will pop up inside the card, like this piece has popped up. You can kind of see the shapes there. If you follow the green, there's green down here and then up there. I've just added the grass to give it a cute look. So if you want to add this, you then take two of these, one for each side, and you'd have them like this. And you're going to add glue onto the tops of these sides here and then stick them on. So you can see you've got the side of the cradle, but you've got this that comes up and that is the piece that you'd attach all your decoration onto. Maybe like a floating topper and things like that. This one will then go at the bottom to sandwich it all in and secure the, the base of the cradle. OK, but like I said, I'm not adding this piece, but I wanted to show you rather than do another tutorial, just showing that one. So this one, we're just going to stick these three together like so. So one of them will be the base. So if you keep that one, add your glue all the way down one of the sides and then just stick that one 
like so. And then I'm going to add the glue on this one. It doesn't matter which piece you kind of add it on to, as long as you end up with this shape. And then stick those together. So you want this open part because that's where you're then going to add the next pieces. But you may also choose to just have this piece and then have the middle piece and build up your scene and that becomes your card and you just have the book cradle piece. But I'm going to add those side pieces there because once you add your stopper in here, that's going to keep it all together. So this one, I'm going to use my grab glue. So you want to pop it in in the W orientation. So I'm going to run my liquid glue all the way down one of the sides. I've done these ones so they're the exact width of the card. If you want to bring this in so it's smaller, you can. And then I'm just going to lay that down inside so the fold runs flush with the bottom of the card. Bring that all together there, you can see. And then we're going to stick that one into that side there. So again, add your glue like so. And then if you just concertina fold it down and then just fold that over the top. So now you'll be able to open that up and you can see you've got a nice strong base of the cradle. And I was saying when I made this Easter version during the Facebook Live, I think it will work for, I mean, I could see that being an underwater scene with the, the acetate there. So you could have like a little aquarium fish tank. But also if you just did the cradle and maybe just one of the back um, and then like the back with the cardstock and maybe acetate at the front or just leave it all off and have a, an actual baby in a cot. You know, if you've added the extender, you could attach the baby there or something. You could have a swinging element, I say, coming down from the top here and maybe a stalk with the baby. There's a lot of different ways to, you know, use this card shape for other themes and occasions but you should now have a nice solid base there so then you want these pieces so like i said they are optional but they will give you this the most basic kind of style i would say for this book cradle so with these ones here you want to have the top one so it's a valley and the bottom so it's a mountain and then again valley and a mountain and then they're going to go like this inside the card. So you want that kind of shape. Okay, so mountain valley. Take my glue and also grab a ruler and just lay it down. You wanna make sure you get this into your six by six size because you can adjust it. If you wanna make it taller, maybe a six by eight size. Squash that piece down so you've got the you know, the base at the bottom of your ruler. You're gonna sit this in between here and you want the top to sit with the six inches. You know, just get it roughly there because then you know it's gonna fit in your envelope and then you wanna make sure it sits in between the card itself so it's all hidden. And now you'll see we've got that shape there. And flip it over. You don't need the ruler now anymore. Again, make sure that you've got it in that shape. So you've got the mountain, the valley. Add your glue. And then you just need to sit that one now on top. Make sure it all lines up. And you'll see you've got that really cool shape so now you can attach the top so just add the glue to one side and again just lay the whole thing flat and just stick those together and there you've got that fun shape I'll put it that way it's easier to see then I've got all these pieces to decorate I've got my topper so I've got this piece here which is going to go on the front and then the back piece is the same. So 
This is five and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then this piece would be five and a half by two and a half, the white where I've stamped my message. So that one's gonna go there. That one's gonna go on the back. And then I've got these two pieces, which are gonna go on the bottom here. And they measure one and a quarter by five and three quarters. I've got the same in this print, so they're gonna go on the back there. And then the strip that I just need to cut, which I did think I did, but I've obviously placed it somewhere else. Five and three quarters by a quarter of an inch or just over. And you wanna do two of them to sit there. I've then got this topper, which is gonna go in the middle there, and this one here. Again, all from the kit, but what I like to do is stick them onto some cardstock first, and then I cut around them so they're nice and strong, and I'll just put some foam tape on the back there. So I'm gonna get that all stuck down. There's the card all finished. Like I said, really nice style to show off your pattern papers and also a good one for using scraps, even your card scraps, because they're all kind of small pieces, you know, put together. So it's an unusual one, which is very much my style, but I just love them. I think they're so different. Again, you can see that cool shape on the side there. So six by six today, the five by seven will be coming soon. And um, as always, this will all be in my blog. The product I will link in the description box below and check out some other unusual shaped cards popping up now. You might want to watch those next. And if you haven't subscribed, as I always say, please do. Um, I've got lots and lots of stuff to share, lots of future projects, but also a huge back catalogue. So if you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, then you won't miss out anything else I share. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.